Well, this bridge over 465 is one of two scheduled to close down for several months within the next couple weeks. This is heavy duty work continues from here all the way down to Martinsville. For the first time, the I-69 finish line project is expected to force detours in Indianapolis. By August 1st, work crews will close the Mooresville Road bypass and Keystone Avenue bridges over the south side of 465. Contractors will rebuild the bridges over several months to prepare for when the two interstates connect. Obviously, we're not going to see any major construction on 465 until the north split is done because 465 is a main detour route for the north split. To the south in Johnson County, drivers should be on the lookout for flaggers, occasionally stopping traffic on State Road 37 as crews install several temporary signals in the Greenwood area. There's also heavy lifting going on in close quarters as workers dig up the median just north of State Road 144. This work will be right next to you, so be aware of that. In Morgan County, drivers will soon have a smoother ride as southbound 37 traffic will shift over to the new interstate pavement by the end of the week. Northbound traffic should follow a week later when INDOT moves the concrete barrier walls. Both directions will be on one side of the brand new 69. You'll be able to feel that new pavement um, and be, you know, be able to see the progress. Meantime, the detour around the five-mile closure in Martinsville will stay in place through the end of the year. INDOT says it's still adjusting light timing and signage along the detour route. Constant, you know, changing detour. Obviously, the detour route is the same, but things along the route are, are being put in place to make it better for drivers. And again, we still have three and a half years of construction when I-69 is expected to connect to 465 at the end of 2024. Reporting on the South Side, Zach Myers, CBS 4 News.